Uh, no, what am I doing? There are many games that reward us with loot, new weapons, and of course, achievements and trophies. However, there are also some games that reward you for doing things that are just morally wrong. If you have five or more of these achievements, it's time to question your own sanity. Here are 10 achievements that you can earn by being a horrible person. Fluffy reds! See? Poor fishy! In Overlord 2, you play a bad guy who controls all kinds of minions to take over the world. Being an overlord and destroying your opponents is nothing to be ashamed of. But there's a difference between being bad and being evil. In the game, you can find very cute baby seals who don't harm anybody. Show them who's top of the food chain! These glowing orbs are life force. Killing 100 of them won't get you a furry coat, but a trophy or achievement, depending on the gaming system you're playing on. We understand gamers who want that trophy, but killing baby seals is just something only horrible people would do, virtual or not. The animal abuse in video games doesn't end with the fluffy seals, but continues in the wild west of Red Dead Redemption. In this open world game, you can find 20 buffaloes. These are the last of their kind. If you find all and kill them, their species is extinct in the game. And yes, you will earn your achievement. There is also an evil achievement called Dastardly. This can be obtained by kidnapping a woman, tying her to the rail track, and watching the train crush her. Yes, you actually need to see it. Look away and you won't get the achievement. We support John Marston's quest to save his family, but this is just evil. The Fallout series is known for its great story, buggy gameplay, and unexpected moments. If you level up your skills, you'll be able to pickpocket other characters in the game world. This can earn you money, tools, and keys to access certain locations. But the Psychotic Prankster achievement is rewarded when you reverse pickpocket someone. Instead of stealing, you put something in someone's pocket. Watch out! And that something is a grenade that's about to blow up. Now that's one brutal prank. Holy sh! What? Oh no! Ah! 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 I had to! Oh God! Killing zombies has been a staple in video games for many years now. One of the better games in the genre has to be Lollipop Chainsaw. This game features a zombie fighting cheerleader who runs around with a chainsaw and the severed head of her boyfriend. It also has the I swear I didn't do it on purpose achievement for gamers who try to look up her skirt. Just hold the camera at a certain angle long enough and everyone on your friends list will know what type of pervert you are. Hey, perv, don't be looking at my skirt. <laughs> Ashura's Wrath is an anime-inspired, over-the-top action game filled with quick-time events. It feels great and ridiculous at the same time, but that's what makes this game so interesting. The action and the geishas you get to meet in the spa. Their faces are half-covered, but their chests show a whole lot more. This game kind of forces you to be a pervert and stare. Do this long enough and you'll unlock the View of the Valley achievement for, well, looking into their valley. After which, Ashura gets a well-deserved punch in the face. 
In Oddworld New and Tasty, you get to play Abe once again, as he needs to save his people from an evil employer who wants to turn the Mudokons into slaves. You are supposed to be a good guy, but in the end, the game will even make a good guy look bad. You will earn the Oops trophy for killing one of your fellow Mudokons by accident. Okay. Uh -oh. You didn't kill this helpless Mudokon by accident, you monster. You did it because you wanted a trophy. Trophy hunting isn't always a victimless crime. Uh, this is gross. I gotta get rid of this. Okay, listen. Sexual misconduct and killing people is a whole lot worse than this entry in this list. But. If one of your friends would show this kind of behavior, you need to rethink your friendship. In Duke Nukem this? Forever, you get the Turd Burglar achievement for grabbing a huge chunk of poo from the toilet and throwing it around. Uh, no, what am I doing? Seriously, are we going to reward people for throwing feces? What are we, monkeys in a cage? People who do this in real life need to be locked away. It's just disgusting. Convenient. Combo. Double combo. Triple combo. Super combo. Uh, this is gross. I gotta get rid of this. Yeah. Ah! Live by your wits or rule by sheer strength. Fable 2 is perhaps the best game in the series. It gave you lots of freedom in how you played as a hero or villain of Albion. For example, you could buy the pervert's handbook from a seller and then learn the vulgar thrusts move. After which, you could go up to innocent NPCs of any gender and make vulgar moves as if you were making sweet, sweet love. If these NPCs warn the guards and you're busted, you'd be fine and get an achievement for being a menace to society. Every guy knows how painful a single punch in the nuts can be. However, that's exactly what the Saints Row series has been rewarding its players for. In Saints Row 2, you get an achievement for making 100 nut shots. To earn this achievement, you simply have to shoot a huge load of enemies in the balls. Saints Row 3 goes even further and makes you punch an enemy gang member in the nuts until he dies. You then have to find another gang member and shoot them in the nuts with a gun. Seriously, do the developers just really hate men or what? You haven't got a prayer. Lucky shit. Winning is the best thing. Don't worry, this doesn't affect combat. Just every other aspect of your whole life. Both recent South Park games are full of questionable missions, achievements, and scenes. For this video, we stick to the stick of truth. In this RPG, you get an achievement for farting on a dead zombie Nazi fetus. And that's not even the most disturbing achievement in the game. South Park also gives you a trophy for watching your parents do things you don't want to think about. That's twisted and all kinds of messed up. Earning the perverted achievement is just plain wrong. I hope your new friends are well behaved. Go play with your new friends today. Do you have any of these achievements? Don't be shy and let us know on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, and we hope to see you again soon. Hey, let's say Juliet, it looks like you've really gotten ahead in life. <laughs>